We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pontifex Lord, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, begotten of the Father, and for all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created. Who oh, for us men for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and became man, and he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried on the third day, he rose from the dead according to the scriptures, descended to heaven, sit to the right hand of his father. We look for the resurrection of the dead and life they shall come on. And it takes to win the sin of the world, tears and mercy, and spirits are sins of me. In us, O God, the Father, the Pontiff Victor, Holy Trinity, have mercy in us, O Lord God, of those who us, who no longer in the hearts of such relations, but you absolve, forgive, and remit, O God, of transgressions, those who committed willingly, and those who committed unwillingly, those who committed knowingly, and those who committed unknowingly, in and manifest, O Lord, for the sake, holy name, which called upon us. Let it be according to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our sins. In the name of the kingdom come, that will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us their daily bread, give us our trespasses. Of those who cast against us and lead us not to temptation, for us we will not perish with sorrow, but pass in the fire. Glory and honor, honor and glory, the Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, peace and edification of the one only holy Catholic and Apostolic Church of God. Amen. Remember, O Lord, and those who are brought unto you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly reading. Pray for these holy and precious gifts. Mm -hmm. Our sacrifices and those who have brought them. Lord have mercy. Alleluia, fai pepe, eho, eta, ep, joy, sit, amen. Joy, 
Supplication, praise of his saints, start to spend our breath at all times, and to keep the life and standing of our honored Father, the High Priest, and of our honored Father, the High Priest, Pope Abba, towards us, and his part in the Bostock Liturgy, our Father, Metropolitan Abba Serapion, and his part in the Bostock Liturgy, our Father, the Bishop of Mercurlos, and to make us good to partake of the communion of his holy and blessed mysteries, for the mission of our sins. Lord of mercy. Therefore, we ask and in future of the nest of lover of mankind, grant us to complete this holy day, and all the days of our life and all peace with your deep. All envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the talents of wicked men, rising up of enemies hidden and manifest, take them away from us. All your people from this holy people from this your holy place. He that not have been near to the psalm of one chance, oh, come with up to me, she should not know me, she knew us from the edge. Then the shanty gone to the center of the God. Hey, 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 hey,
Saint John, Chrysostom, Saint Cyril, Saint Basil, Saint Gregory. The mouth 318 assembled at Nicaea, 150 Constantinople, 200 at Ephesus. The mouth of honor for all the archpriest, Pope Abba Tawadris II, and his partner, Legion of Father, and the Metropolitan of the Scrapping Mouth, my direct self, are blessed and full of glory, so in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever. Forgiveness of our sins. The herald of glad tidings. Through the intercessions of the seven heart. Angels and the heavenly orders, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Emmanuel, John, the son of Zacharias. Through the prayers of the priest Zacharias and his wife Elizabeth, oh Lord, 
grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Rest of the disciples, Lord, Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Of this day, each one, each one, according to their names, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Father of a Seraphion, the Metropolitan, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Paul, the servant of our Lord Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, according to the Gospel of God, a chapter from the second epistle of our teacher, St. Paul to the Corinthians, his blessing be upon us, amen. Now I, Paul, myself, am pleading with you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, who in presence am lowly among you, but being absent and bold toward you. But I beg you that when I am present, I may not be bold without with that confidence by which I intend to be bold against some, who think of us as if we walked according to the flesh. For though we walked in the flesh, we do not walk, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God, for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity into the, to the obedience of Christ, and being ready to punish all disobedience when your disobedience is fulfilled. Do you look at things according to the outward appearance? If anyone is, is convinced in himself that he is Christ's, 
Let him again consider this in himself, that just as he is Christ's, even so we are Christ's. For even if I should boast somewhat more about our authority, which the Lord gave us for edification and not for your destruction, I shall not be ashamed, lest I seem to terrify you by letters. For his letters, they say, are weighty and powerful, but this bodily presence is weak and his speech con contemptible. Let such a person consider this, that what we are in word by letters when we are absent, such we will also be indeed when we are present. For we dare not class ourselves or compare ourselves with those who commend themselves. But they, measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves, are not wise. We, however, will not boast beyond measure, but within the limits of the sphere of which God appointed us, a sphere which especially includes you. For we are not extending ourselves beyond our sphere, thus not reaching you. For it was to you that we came with the gospel of Christ, not boasting of things beyond measure, that is, in other men's, labor, in other men's labors, but having hope that as your faith is increased, we also shall be greatly enlarged by, by you in, your, in our sphere, to preach the gospel in the regions beyond you, and not to boast in another man's sphere of accomplishment. But he who glorifies, let him glory in the Lord. For, he, for not he who commends himself is approved, but whom the Lord commends. The grace of God the Father be with you all. Amen. The Catholic Epistle from the First Epistle of our Teacher, St. Peter, may his blessing be upon us all. Amen. My beloved, therefore, since Christ suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves also with the same mind, for he who has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh for the lusts of men and for the will of God. For we have spent enough of our past lifetime in doing the will of the Gentiles, when we walked in licentiousness, lusts, drunkenness, revelries, drinking parties, and abominable idolatries. In regard to these, they think it strange that you do not run with them in the same flood of dissipation, speaking evil of you. They will give an account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. For this reason, the gospel was preached also to those who are dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh to live according to God in the Spirit. But the end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be serious and watchful in your prayers. And above all things, have fervent love for one another, for love will cover a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without grumbling. As each one has received a gift, minister it to one another, as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If anyone speaks, let him speak as the oracles of God. If anyone ministers, let him do it as with the ability which God supplies, that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom belong the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Do not love the world, nor the things which are in the world. The world shall pass away in its lust. Do you, does the will of God, shall abide forever. Amen. Smarot, the 
A reading from our Father, the Apostle, and the Holy Blessings be with us all, Amen. And Barnabas the Saul returned from Jerusalem, and they he had fulfilled with, with their ministry. And <clears throat> they took with them John, whose surname was Mark. Now in the church that was in the that was at Antioch, there was a certain prophet and teachers, Barnabas, uh, Simon, who was called Niger, Lucas of Cyrene, Manaen, who was had been brought up with Herod and Saul. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Spirit said, Now separate to me Barnabas and Saul uh, for the work uh, to which I have called them. And then having fasted and prayed, they laid their hands on them and they sent them away. So being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Celsia and from there where they sailed to Cyprus. And when they arrived into Solom Solomus, they returned, or they preached, and the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews. And they also had John as their assistant. And now, when they had gone through the island of Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew whose surname was Bar Jesus, who was with the proconsul Sergius Paulus, an, an intelligent man. This man called for Barnabas and Saul and sought to hear the word of God. But Elamis, the sorcerer, um, with, withstood them, seeking to turn the proconsul away from their faith. Then Saul, who was also called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked intensely at him and said, O fool of all deceit and all fraud, you, the son of the devil, you are the, uh, you enemy of all righteousness. You will not cease preventing the straight way of the Lord. And now indeed, the hand of the Lord is upon you, and you shall be blind, not seeing the sun for the time. And immediately a dark mist fell on him. He went around seeking someone to lead him by hand, and the proconsul believed. And when he saw what, uh, what had been done, being astonished at the teaching of the Lord, the word of the Lord shall grow, multiply, and be mighty, confirming the Holy Church of God. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit of God, amen. Today is the eighth day of the blessed month of Kiat. May the Lord, Lord begin it for us in goodness, renew for us in peace and tranquility. <clears throat> While our sins and our iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of our Lord, my fathers, my brother, and mother. On this day in the year 20 of the martyrs, St. Isi and his sister Thecla were martyred. These two saints were born in the latter part of the third century to pious Christian parents from the city of Abu Sayyid. They were wealthy and charitable to the, point, to the poor and the needy. St. Isi traveled to Alexandria to visit one of his friends, which coincided with the time when St. Victor, the son of Romanos, came to Alexandria. When Isi knew of his good strife and his renouncing of the world, he became envious of his biography and his endurance for the sufferings. Especially when he knew that St. Victor was the son of a counselor in the Roman court, a high-ranking officer in the Roman army, and a close acquaintance of the emperor. Isi wished to follow his example, so he went to Armenius, the governor, and confessed his faith in the Lord Christ before him. The angel of the Lord appeared to his sister Thecla in her hometown and ordered her to go to meet her brother in Alexandria. She embarked on a ship and while on board the Virgin St. Mary and St. Elizabeth appeared to her and comforted and encouraged her. St. Elizabeth told her, I have a son. They beheaded him unjustly. And the Virgin St. Mary told her, I have a son whom they crucified with envy. Thecla did not recognize them. When she arrived to Alexandria to, and met her brother, they agreed to confess the Lord Christ. The governor tortured them severely at times by the squeezing wheel and other times by scorching them. And when the governor became weary of torturing them, he handed them over to his son, the governor of the city, El Chosos, to take them to Upper Egypt. When they had sailed for a short time, the boat stopped. The governor ordered them beheaded and cast their bodies into, into the weeds and the wild plants. Thus they received the crown of martyrdom. The Lord inspired a priest called Macarius from Shatanuch to take their holy bodies. He buried them with great veneration the blessing of their prayers be with us all. Amen. On this day also, in the year 237 AD, Saints Barbara and Juliana were martyred. Barbara was the daughter of wealthy noble pagan man from the city of Nicomedia called the Oscuros. 
Because of his great love for his daughter, he built her a tower to live in and erected it around it idols so she would continue worshipping the gods that he worshipped. St. Barbara rose up her eyes to heaven from the top of the tower, contemplating the beauty of the sky and what was in it, the sun, the moon, and the stars. She came to the conclusion that the universe must have an evil and wise maker who is worthy of worship and honor. Origin, the scholar, happened to be in this area and was informed of the saint and her longing for the knowledge by one of her Christian maidservants. He came to her and taught her the principles of the Christian religion. Barbara was enlightened with divine light. She was baptized in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, received the holy mysteries by the hand of a Christian priest. There were two windows in the bathroom of her plate palace, and she ordered a third one to be opened and a large cross to be placed over the water basin. When her father came to see her and saw the changes that were done, he asked her for the reason. She told him, Did you not know, my father, that with the Trinity everything is complete? And these three windows are the name of the, the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The sign of the cross is the sign of the Lord Jesus Christ, through whom was completed the salvation of the whole world. I ask you, my dear father, to turn away from the delusion that you are living in and worship the God who created and redeemed you. When her father heard these words, he became very angry, drew his sword to slay her. She fled away, and he ran after her. There was a rock in front of her that split into two halves, and she went through it. The rock then returned to its earlier state. However, her father's heart was more hardened than the rock, and he went around the rock searching for her, found her hiding in a cave. He jumped over her as a wolf seized her and dragged her to the governor of Marciens. At first, the governor talked to her in a friendly way, making many promises and then threatened her, but could not take her away her love for the Lord Christ. Therefore, he ordered to torment her with different kinds of tortures. There was a young girl named Juliana who was watching St. Barbara being atrociously tortured, and she wept for her. Juliana saw the Lord Christ strengthening and comforting St. Barbara. She was also enlightened and believed in the Lord Christ. The governor ordered her to be tortured also along with St. Barbara. All the means of torture failed to change their faith in the Lord Christ. Therefore, he ordered to behead both of them by the sword. When Barbara heard the order of the governor, she prayed to God to accept her soul and that of Juliana. They came forward unafraid of death, and the swordsmen beheaded them, and they both received the crown of martyrdom. St. Barbara's father perished shortly afterwards by horrible death, and so did the governor who tortured them. As for the water basin that had the cross over it in the tower, its water had the power of healing for everyone who washed themselves with it. They placed the bodies of these two saints in a church in the region of Galatia. After a period of years, they relocated their bodies to Egypt, the church that is named after St. Barbara in Old Cairo. The blessing of their prayers be with us all. Amen. Also on this day in the year 412, when the martyrs, the great Saint Abba Samuel, the confessor, the head of the Kalamun Monastery, departed. The saint was born in one of the villages of the Diocese of Nasu. Arcelaus, the, his father, who was a priest, saw in a night vision a luminous man telling him, Your son must be entrusted with a large congregation, for he is chosen by the Lord. Samuel was pure from his youth like Samuel the prophet. When he grew up, he became a monk in the wilderness of Shahid at the hands of a holy man called Abba Aghathum. Abba Samuel lived with Abba Aghathum for three years in total obedience. After the departure of Abba Aghathum, the monk Samuel dedicated himself to fasting and prayer. Therefore, he was ordained a priest for the church of St. Macarius the Great. One day, an envoy came to the desert carrying the tome of Leo, and when the envoy read it to the elders and the monks, they asked him to endorse it and sign it. Abba Samuel became zealous. <clears throat> with divine zeal, he jumped and seized the tome and rent it in pieces and did not endorse it. When the imperial envoy saw this, he became furious and angry. He ordered him to be beaten with whips and tortured. One of these strikes hit his right eye, causing him to lose it. They then expelled him from the monastery. The angel of the Lord appeared to St. Samuel and commanded him to depart and to dwell in El Kalamon Mount. He went there and built a monastery, lived in it for a while, teaching and instructing those gathered around him and confirming them in the Orthodox faith. Shortly after, the barbarians attacked the monastery and took Abba Samuel with them on the way back to the country. There they found Abu Annas, the Higaman of Shahid, and they comforted each other. The captor Abba Samuel tried to persuade him to worship the sun, but he refused. When he failed, the devil enticed him to tie the leg of Abba Samuel to the leg of one of his maidens and send them to attend to the camels. He intended for Abba Samuel to fall into sin with her, and then he would submit to him. The grace of God, he was saved from this cruel temptation. Later, the master's son fell ill and was close to death. Abba Samuel prayed for him, and the boy was healed of his sickness. 
His master greatly loved him, apologized for all that he had done, and asked for Abba Samuel's forgiveness. He offered to him to ask for anything that he wished. Abba Samuel asked to return back to his monastery, and he allowed him to go back. When Abba Samuel returned, many of his sons, the monks, gathered around him, and they increased until the number they numbered in the thousands. Virgin St. Mary appeared to him and told him, This place shall be my abode forever. And from that day, the barbarians never attacked the monastery again. Abba Samuel wrote prophecies, many discourses, and spiritual articles, and when the time of his departure drew near, he gathered together his sons and commanded them to be steadfast in the faith and the fear of God until the last breath. Then they departed in peace. His body is located in his monastery near Nagaha in Kalamun Mount in the western desert. The blessing is prayers be with us all. Amen. On this day also in the year 240 AD, the Holy Father, Pope Heraclius, the 13th Pope of Alexandria, departed. This Holy Father was born by, to pagan parents who believed in the Lord Christ and were baptized after his birth. They taught him Greek philosophy and then Christian doctrine. He excelled in preaching and teaching. St. Demetrius, the 12th Pope of Alexandria, loved him and ordained him a deacon and then a priest for the Church of Alexandria. He was liked by everyone and came to many came to listen to his sermons and teachings. In the year 224 AD, he was enthroned and shepherded the flock of Christ to the best of care. He brought many to the faith. Pope Heraclius sat on the throne of St. Mark for 16 years, one month, and 26 days, and then departed in peace. The blessing this prayer be with us all, and glory be to our God forever. Ave God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, who art born of the Virgin, have mercy upon us, holy, ave God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, who art crucified for us, have mercy upon us, holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who rose from the dead and ascended into the heavens, have mercy upon us, glory to the Father. And to the Holy Spirit of God, and unto the ages of the ages of the Holy Trinity, have mercy upon us. Peace be with all and with your spirit. Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God has said to his honors, hateful disciples, and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see, and have not seen them, and to hear the things which you hear, and have not heard them. And as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. May we be worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospels. To the prayers of your saints. Pray for the Holy Gospel. Lord of mercy. Remember also, O oh, our Master, all those who have been in us through supplications and prayers which we offer up unto you. O oh, Lord our God, those who have fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them, for you are the light of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us. Alleluia. Or 
the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous. The Lord is at your right hand, our saintly father, the patriarch, O Baba and our father, the metropolitan, Abba Serapion, and our father, the bishop, Abba Kirios. May the Lord keep your lives up. and Pharisees began to assail him vehemently. They cross-examined him about many things, lying in wait for him and seeking to catch him in something he might say that they might accuse him. In the meantime, when an innumerable multitude of people had gathered together so that they trampled one another, he began to say to his disciples, first of all, Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. There is nothing covered that will not be revealed, nor hidden that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have spoken in the dark will be heard in the light. What you have spoken in the ear in inner rooms will be proclaimed in the housetop. And I say to you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. But I will show you whom you should fear. Near him who after he has killed has power to cast into hell. Yes, I say to you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two copper coins? Not one of them is forgotten before God. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. Also, I say to you, whoever confesses me before men, him the Son of Man also will confess before the angels of God. But he who denies me before men will be denied before the angels of God. And anyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man, it will be forgiven him. 
but to him who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit and will not be forgiven. Now when they bring you to the synagogues and magistrates and authorities, do not worry about how or what you should answer, what you should say, for the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. Glory be to God forever. We send you greetings with Gabriel the angel, saying, Hail, you all full of grace, the Lord is with you, therefore we glorify you as the mother of God at all times. Ask the Lord on our behalf that he may forgive us our sins. Blessed be the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the perfect we worship Him and glorify Him. We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us, man, and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary, and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose from the dead, according to the scriptures, ascended into the heavens. He sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who is glorified the prophets. And in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we confess one baptism for the remission of sins. We long for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Ah, <laughs> And that which entered into the world through the envy of the devil you have destroyed by the life-giving manifestation of your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. You have filled the earth with the heavenly peace by which the host of angels glorify your name. Glory to God in the highest peace on earth. And good will go on. Lord have mercy. According to your good will, O God, fill our hearts with your peace. Cleanse us from all blemish, all vile, all hypocrisy, all craftiness, and the remembrance of thy spirit. And make us all worthy, all our masters, to greet one another with a holy kiss, that without casting us into condemnation, we may partake of your immortal and heavenly gift in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Sub 
God of powers who brought for us forth a share portion of the service you research the hearts and gives wisdom to men. Hear us through your great mercy and purify us from all the faults of the spirit and, and flesh. Remove our sins and faults like you remove clouds and smoke. Fill us with your divine power and the grace of your only begotten Son and the acts of your Holy Spirit. Make us worthy for the service of this new covenant so we can worthily bear your holy name and serve your divine mysteries through the priesthood. Do not allow us to take part in any transgressions, but rather take away our sins and grant us our master not to make any errors. Rather give us the true understanding so that we may speak accordingly and come close to your holy altar. Receive unto yourself the subdeaconship of your servants who stand here awaiting your heavenly gifts. You are good and plenteous in mercy for all those who call upon your holy name. 
You are all powerful, along with your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the age of all ages. Amen. <laughs> Your goodwill of God the Father and the Holy Spirit dwell upon the Son, whose name has been mentioned for this rank of the subdeaconship of the Holy Church of God, which will serve from the hardship and tribulations. Let us all ask for the Holy Spirit to come upon him by praying. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Yes, so Lord, make them worthy for the calling of subdeacon, so that in worthiness and through your love to man, they may worship and serve your holy name and altar. By mercy before you, O God, and unto you is do all glory with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the age of all ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord God, the Pontifical who was revealed in the tent of testimony, decorating the sanctuary to preserve the holy vessels, we ask and entreat you, O our King, to shine your light on your servant who was presented to become subdeacon. And by those who attested to them, fill them with your Holy Spirit to stand at the sanctuary door and light the house of your prayers, plant them in your church as a fruitful olive tree. Always gaining righteous fruit through your grace now and ever to the age of all ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Welcome, the Lord, in our service and purify us from every fault and send your grace on your servants so they may be worthy to continue in their subdeaconship without fault, becoming victorious through your mercy along with those who pleased you since the beginning. For the mercy is in your goodwill and unto you is to all honor and worship from all peoples. O Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the age of all ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Ma, we call you in the church of God. Amen. We call you Mark, a subdeacon in the church of God. Amen. Mark, a subdeacon in the church of God. Ben is for the Orthodox in the Diocese of Los Angeles, beloved of Christ. Can a pranum of your the machine moth, who have a note in your face, for out and drave note of your deep on top rato. Amen. There is for out and drave a full of an east and shiri is so spare is toast and true. Amen. There is for out and drave a man moth, who have a man at least. We call you in the church of God, Amen. Amen. And that is a subdeacon in the church of God, Amen. Amen. We call you in that is a subdeacon in the church of God, that is for the Orthodox in the Diocese of Los Angeles, beloved of Christ. And if Ron, we owe them a shimma, who have not to not his moral wood and drave, not to your people on top, Rato. Amen. His moral wood and drave, who are the nice and shiri, so spared his toast and show. Amen. His moral wood and drave, we have them, who are barnacle. Ah, 
We thank you, Master Panchokachur, for every condition and all conditions. We bless and glorify your holy name, for you have done great acts on our behalf. You have poured your blessings on your servants, and we ask and entreat you to be pleased in the dwelling of your grace. On the subdeaconship of your servants, because of your love toward mankind, grant them the reverence and purity to become perfect in every work of service, and gain patience to the compassion of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom is to all glory forever and unto the age of all ages. Amen. Glory and honor to your holy name, O Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Peace and edification to the Holy Church and God. Amen. O oh, God, our Lord, who raised the man in his half to chant in the holy places, and grant to David the prophet to chant with sultry harp and ten lyre, set out in the mouth and babes and infants, you have perfected praise, you have established praise in your holy church and your people, worship you with psalms, chants, and spiritual songs. We ask you, O Lord, to give grace to your servants, so they may do the work of saltless in your holy church. They may chant unto you hymns, chants, and spiritual songs from their hearts to the Lord. Through the grace, compassion, love of mankind, and only God, Son of God, and Savior Jesus Christ, now and ever into the age of all ages. Amen. <speaking in Hebrew> By the prophet David, the mouth sing praise you, the Lord, sing to the Lord a new song, praise the Lord, for his goodness, sing praises to our God. For it is pleasant and fitting to praise him, we ask you, O Lord, to give your servants the grace of praise and chanting in the holy church. Grant them the ability to chant to you with understanding, so they may chant from the depths of their hearts in the spirit of prayer and worship. Grant that they may serve you with all their hearts by filling their mouths with praise and chanting your hymns. Set their chants as a sweet savor before you remove from them the spirit of pride, showiness, and boast. Make them good servants through the grace, compassion of your only begotten Son, O Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Is worthy with you to receive glory, honor, majesty, and worship now and ever to the age of all ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. George, sent us in the church of God. Amen. 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 Anastasios, Psaltos in the Church of God, Ami. Ami. In a brand new new Shimba, so ever not in a Tesmoro, and Jeff, no Tibioti, one to Prato. Ami. Tesmoro, and Jeff Morganese, and she is so spare, so special. Ami. Nathan of Saltos in the Church of God, Ami. 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 Saltos in the Church of God, Ami. Ami. In the front of you, the Shimba, so ever not, you know, this Marot and Jeff, not if you'll be one to Plato. Ami. This Marot and Jeff, one of the knees and shitty, so spare the stores, Pencho. Ami. This Marot and Jeff, you have never 
Thomas in the Church of God, I mean, I Sauce us in the church of God, God hear us and have mercy upon us. Ah, fra, 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 in order. Stand with trembling, look to the east, let us attend. The intercessions of the Theotokos sing. Mary, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, for you have come and saved us. A mercy of peace, a sacrifice of, of praise. And with your spirit, We have them with the Lord's gifts to the Lord. It is meet and right. and right, meet and right, truly, indeed, it is meet and right. O you, the being master, Lord God of truth. Being before the ages and reigning forever, who dwells in the highest and looks upon the lowly, who has created a heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that is therein, the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, by whom you have created all things visible and invisible, who is seated upon the throne of his glory, and who is worshipped by all the holy power. 
powers before whom stand the angels, the archangels, the principalities, the authorities, the thrones, the dominions, and the powers. Look towards these. You are here on whom stand the cherubim, full of eyes, and the seraphim with six wings, praising, continuously without ceasing, saying. The cherubim worship you, and the seraphim glorify you, proclaiming and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord of hosts, heaven and and earth are full of your holy love. Disobeyed your commandment by the deceit of the servant, we fell from eternal life, bring silence from the paradise of God. You have not abandoned us to love, but have always visited us through your holy prophets. And in the last days, you manifested yourself to us who were sitting in darkness and the shadow of. Through all the man, Son of Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who am the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Virgin Mary. Amen. Amen. and became, and he taught us the ways of salvation, he granted us the birth from on high through water and spirit. He made us unto himself and assemble people and say goodbye to us by Holy Spirit. He loved his own who were in the world as a ransom on our behalf, gave himself up unto death. I know of him when he had more than he taught, and though it would be then, then all be descended into Hades through the Amen. He rose from the dead on the third day. He ascended into them and then sat at your right hand, O Father, as appointed a day for recompense on which you will appear to judge the world in righteousness and give each one according to his deeds. According to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our sin. On a thing finished and missed it in and Amen. 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 Amen.
Stev Omen ke Omoloho Nen ke Take heed of it all of you, for this is my body, which is broken for you and for many, to be given for the remission of sins, this do in remembrance of me. This is true. Amen. Amen. Ke palim pestev, omen ke omoloho, men ke doxazo. Angering of it all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, to be given for the remission of sins, this do in remembrance of me. This is also true. my resurrection and remember me Amen, Amen, Amen Your death, O Lord we proclaim Your holy resurrection and ascension into the heavens we confess we praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, and we entreat you, O our God. For as we also commemorate his holy, and his resurrection from the dead, his ascension into the heavens, sitting at your right hand, O Father, and ascending coming from the heavens, awesome and full of glory, often to the instrument is yours for everything, turning everything out in every worship God in fear and praise. We praise you, we bless you, we serve you, we worship you. Oh, let us attend on Bread he makes into his holy body. I believe on me. This love also the branches, blood of his new covenant. Again, I believe on me. Given for the remission of sin and eternal life to those who partake of it. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Make us all with your master to partake of your holies unto the purification of our souls, bodies, and spirits, that we may become one body and one spirit, and may have a shared inheritance with all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Remember, O Lord, the keys of your one only holy 
Keep her in peace with all the Orthodox bishops who are in her. For most for none, the Lord, blessed and honored Father, the Archbishop, our Patriarch of its what is the second, and his spiritual brother, the Patriarch of Antioch, Magnetus of Rem the second, and his partners in the Apostolic Liturgy, our Father, the Metropolitan of the Serapian, and our Father, the Bishop of Akire. From my priest, from all the Lord, was full of faith, Mark and Archbishop of the Great City of Alexandria. And his brother in the Masonic Ministry of Patriarch of Antioch, Mark Nettis, Ephraim, Cain. And his partner in the Masonic Ministry, our father, Mr. Balthanava, Serapian, and our father, the Bishop of Kiddalus, and for all Orthodox bishops. Lord, have mercy. Most rightly handle the word of truth with them. Grant them unto your holy church to shepherd your flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox hypomens, priests, and deacons. Servants and all who are in virginity and the purity of all your faithful people. Remember, O Lord, to have mercy upon us all. Have mercy upon us, O God, the Father, the Father, the Lord. Salvation in this your holy place and every place and every monastery of our Orthodox fathers. Pray for the salvation of the world and of the city of ours and of all cities, countries, islands, and monasteries. Lord mercy. Graciously accord, O Lord, the air of heaven, the fruits of the earth, the waters of the rivers, the seeds, the herbs, and the plants of the field this year to bless them. Have compassion on his creation, which we can have made, and forgive us our mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Please them to their measure according to your grace. Give joy to the face of the earth. May its flows be abundantly watered, and its fruits be plenty. Prepared for sowing and harvesting, manage our lives as these. Bless the crown of the year with your goodness for the sake of the poor of your people, the widow, the orphan, the traveler, the stranger, and for the sake of all of us who entreat you and seek your holy name. For the eyes of everyone wait upon you, for you give them their food. In the sea, deal with us according to your goodness, or you will give food to all flesh, fill our hearts with joy and gladness. Glad we to having sufficiency in everything always may abound in every good. Lord, have mercy. Those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought, give them all the heavenly Pray for 
these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices and the celebrations. Lord have Son, that we share in the commemoration of your Lord. saints. Graciously accord, O Lord, to remember all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Our Holy Fathers, the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs, the confessors, and all the spirits of the righteous perfected in us. Most of all, the pure, full of glory, ever virgin, holy, the old Tocco's name. Mary, who truly gave birth to God the Lord. And Saint John the foreigner, Baptist and martyr, Saint Stephen the archdeacon and quarter martyr, the beholder of God, the evangelist, Saint Mark, the holy apostle and martyr, the patriarch Saint Severus, our teacher Dioscorus, Saint Athanasius, the apostolic Saint Peter, the holy martyr, and high priest. Saint John, Chrysostom, Saint Theodosius, Saint Theophilus, Saint Demetrius, Saint Cyril, Saint Basil, Saint Gregory the Theologian, Saint Gregory the Wonder Worker, Saint Gregory the Arnian, the three hundred eighteen of Samalicia, the one hundred and fifty at Constantinople to Ephesus, our righteous Father the Great Abba Antony, the righteous Abba Paul, the three saints of Omicari, and all the children the cosmos. Our Father Abba John Eggleman, our righteous Father Abba Bashoy, the perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior, and all the fire of your saints, through whose prayers and supplications have mercy on us and save us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. ah, 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 Amen. Glory to you, O Lord, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, bless us, Lord, repose them all. Whose souls you have taken, repose them in the paradise of joy, in the region of the living forever in the heavenly. Jerusalem in that place. And we too who are sojourners in this place keep us in your faith and grant us your peace unto the end. As it was and shall be it is from generation to generation.
and everything honored and blessed with Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit. Also ask him to make us worthy of the communion and partaking of his divine and immortal mysteries. Amen. Amen. in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever. Amen. Oh, 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 oh,
ये सोचते Divinity without meaning, without confusion, without alteration, 
Yes, the good compassion before pond is finally he gave it up for us, but only what on the cross was all well for us all. Truly, I believe that his divinity part or not for this humanity, for a single moment, nor twinkling of an eye, given for us for salvation, remission of sins, to the light to those partake of him, I believe, I believe, I believe, and this is true of me. Amen, amen. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is so in truth. Amen. Pray for us and for all things and do that was concerning them. Remember us in the house of the Lord. The peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you. Sing it aloud. Pray for the worthy, partake of the max of heavenly and holy mystery.
Salvation of Adam and Eve, Sheridan, Oti, Parthenos, the joy of generation, Sheridan, Oti, Parthenos, the joy of Abel, the just, Sheridan, Oti, Parthenos, who is above the temple. Sherene o ti parte nos di arca noa. Sherene o ti parte nos ante o da. Sherene o ti parte nos the grace of our father Abraham. Sherene o ti parte nos the trusted advocate. Sherene o ti parte nos the salvation of Isaac the holy. Sherene o ti parte nos the mother of the holy. Sherene o ti parte nos the joy of our father Jacob. Sherene o ti parte nos thousands and ten thousands multiply. Sherene o ti parte nos the pride of Judah and his brothers. Sherene o ti Parthenos to the end of time. Sherene oti Parthenos, the vision of Moses. Sherene oti Parthenos, the mother of the master. Sherene oti Parthenos, the power of Joshua and Gideon. Sherene oti Parthenos, the victory of Barak and Samson. 
Parthenos in diverse ways and countless times. Our mouth is filled with blindness and the truth before taking many mysteries of our doubts. No, you heard neither of whom on the heart of man comes the true God had prepared for those who love you holy name, have we have the children. Your holy church, yes, O oh, Father, the, the pleasure before you, and mercy we send a few glory, none of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, which is good. Servants, O oh Lord, who are serving you, standing before you, bowing on the heads to you. Dwell in them, O oh Lord, walk among them, aid them with good deed. Make the heart from the violence to thou going to live and to date what is pertaining to living. To understand the things that are yours, throw me down, son, with God, and Jesus Christ. From all your people, cry out, saying, Have mercy. Mercy, Savior. 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 Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth. God the merciful, look to the merciful eye in mercies and compassion from his heaven down to the he saved us from straying and darkness by the incarnation of this love, his only begotten Son, from the Holy Virgin Mary. He sent him, comporal angel Gabriel, to a virgin child in the house of David of her tribe. She was betrothed to the righteous Joseph when he greeted her in this manner, saying, Can you? O Anastoria, O Nona, Eloia, hail to you, O full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, O you who are chosen among mankind. Incline your ear to me and my words. Behold, you will conceive and give birth to a son, who shall be called the Son of the Highest. Can you? The wise Virgin Mary, the mother of God, said, How will this happen to me? I have not known. Amen. No virgin shall conceive at all and give birth. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. open choice. Lord have mercy, Lord of Lord bless us and in bless us. Lord repentance, forgive me, say the blessings. Amen. So be. Find us the glory, the dominion, the majesty of every Then make us, O Lord, worthy to pray with all thanksgiving our Father. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever. Amen. Amen. God the Father, the grace only done to God and Savior Jesus Christ, we give to the Holy Spirit. For those who should go down peace, please be with you. And with your spirit. Just a few announcements. So, first of all, we'd like to thank uh, His Grace Bishop Frivolous for granting us the great blessing today um, of the Divine Liturgy and the Spiritual Day of Coming to the Junior High. Um, we wanted to wish a hearty congratulations to uh, the Ecclesiastical Pastor. Uh, 
ecclesiastical choir girls and young women, um, the chanters and the subdeacons, and we'll do a procession for all of them uh, right now in a minute. Um, <clears throat> uh, af actually, after the procession, then we'll come here and take a picture with Sayyidina and he'll give you a small gift. Um, and then after that, we'll have a Gabby meal with Sayyidina upstairs, followed by the junior high um, spiritual talk with, with Sayyidina. Um, it's a, a lot for, for Sayyidina to bless us with, but we're very thankful and honored. Um, and God willing, tonight we'll start the praises uh, for Kiak again. This is the second out of four, um, and we'll start, God willing, with Vespers at six, followed by the Kiak seven. Thank you again, Sayyidina. Bono entete You have been entrusted with a good rank, a subdeaconship, whatever is commanded of you do. Be a follower and helper to the deacon. Assist the priest and the deacon in the service and watch the doors of the church, which is the house of God. Do not permit any cattle or donkey to enter and during the holy service when the deacon sits in the catechumens or to stand in the church. 
and are not partaker to receive the holy mysteries, be sure to guard the church safely, for you have been entrusted to touch the holy vessels that are used in the holy service. For this know the value and the honor and the gift which have been given to you as a wise and trustworthy servant who filled the will of his master with all his effort, so as to receive the fruit of the high calling through Christ Jesus our Lord, to whom is due all glory and honor now and ever into the age of all ages. Amen. Make us worthy to pray in the hour of all of them. Now may the love of God, the Father, the grace of the God, the Son of God, and the Savior Jesus Christ, commune the gift of the Holy Spirit, be with you those who wish to go on peace, peace with God, peace. Congratulations for taking the picture. Thank you. 